The morning of April 11th, the brilliant minds at the Storm Prediction Center introduced a 10% area highlighting the potential for tornadoes, and at 11.30 p.m., upgraded to a hatched area for an increasing threat of strong tornadoes. We didn't know it yet, but we were about to have two of the best days of chasing we have had in recent years. storm of the day near Fort Smith, Arkansas. Nice little wall cloud on it. Not severe warmed yet, but it's looking pretty good. That looks like it's about to do it. Right in the middle. What'd you say? Oh. Yep. Hold on, got the drone out. One sec. No, let's not get the drone yet. Okay. Let's Sorry. Go it's gonna get big. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Very nice, boys. It's down. You're good. Power Got flashes. Wow. Wow. Right to the right side. Right there. Yeah. There's a tree. In the air? Get out of the way in the, in the one second. Okay. Yeah, that's a tornado. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely a tornado. Big honking tornado. Face a little bit into the rain. There you go. You're good. Right here. Big tornado. Wow. And we have a much better view here in a little bit. Just like a mile. Just FYI. Wedge. Wow, that's big. Big old tornado stuff. I don't know, we're good. Well, it's moving east northeast. Hold on, let's just run for just a second. The next day, yet another risk for tornadoes was highlighted by the Storm Prediction Center. And yet again, probabilities were increasing for another day of strong tornadoes. Except this time, they were about a thousand miles further north, which meant an all-night drive from Arkansas to Iowa. 
sitting here in Sac City, Iowa, waiting on convective initiation. We got a tornado watch out for a couple of strong tornadoes possible. Uh, currently sitting here watching some bubbly queue off to our southwest, and we should have storms the next couple hours. And hopefully, uh, hopefully get a photogenic tornado or two today. T-shirt, t-shirt. Oh, I'm so sorry. Where'd that t-shirt go? Because we want to shoot out your window here. Yep. Locks on. Got it.
this episode, everybody. We documented five tornadoes from this active stretch of severe weather and even made our way down to Mississippi the following morning for some tornado worn supercells that didn't end up producing. We even got treated to some southern hospitality when the fine folks of Canton, Mississippi cooked us up a great dinner despite power being out from severe storms. Fortunately, nobody was injured from these tornadoes. And until the next time, stay safe, amigos.